Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the MFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down in a lot. It's a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose. It's a mare in lost wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. <laughs> 
Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Third down and, well, hot, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! He caught that punt and put on the Jets and said, Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten.
First down and less than a defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and seven. Second down and more than the QB would like. He had it for a second there. Third down and the punter is warming up. He caught it and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you new out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. And this game is up for grabs. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. position in football the mighty punter he boomed that one let's see if they can get a return he's got the ball now and is going to try and score oh that's a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves playing. First down. And it's first and ten. done for a first down and it's first and ten and he punched his way out of and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive and it's first and ten
And he picks up five on that play. Second down and five. First and ten. Second down and long. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. But I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something. That run is good for nine yards. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And that'll bring up second and one. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me well you mistaken man you get up my grill i'm gonna ruin your world i'm gonna wreck it okay nice and easy like a two-foot putt you miss two-foot putts all the time Grim. it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. 
sense. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Caught for the first down. And it's first, and they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Call a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the arm that it would be earlier. I let one rip. I mean, a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's when small talk is really put to the test. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop from throwing that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Yeah, Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. to that one for a first down. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. You ever get a 
been hit in the head with a bulldog grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! A human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. Third down and, well, good luck. Six yard gain there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. First and ten. Simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and six. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Mm. 
Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down and forever. Just burn the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the after. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down and long. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Third down and long. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. I just made the uncommentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 
you're right, you should. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He picks up eight yards on that pass. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lip. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous dirty. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Third down and three. And he'll pick. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second and three. The ball carrier is saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. But with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn on the light, it wasn't a draw in my bed. It was a and he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost. And the defense was ready for that bomb's way dirty trick that time. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten.
The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and three. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> Defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. Second down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Hot one, hot two, three. Perfect pass and the score! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. That's a bad kick, and it's going to cost them some yards. <laughs> the kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. and Newton's is how you recover an outside kick. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey. It ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. He 
He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. And that is called for a first down. The Green Bay attacker has come away with a win. Not to mention a truckload of seven body pots. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Hell, I know. Mm-hmm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.